Hello, I have completed the designing of go-kart chassis. Now it's turn to do some analysis in the ANSYS software. The analysis of chassis is necessary as there are lots of forces acting on a chassis in a running condition of a vehicle. These forces are responsible for causing crack initiation and deformation in the chassis members. Deformation results in a straight generation Hence, it is important to find out this area of maximum stresses. This is carried out by the static structural analysis as impact analysis such as front impact, rear impact and side impact analysis. Now, let's begin with the analysis of chassis. This is an ANSYS workbench interface. This is a toolbar in which go to the static structural, double click on it. The new tab is open. Rename it as Front Impact Analysis. Click Enter. Now, what is Front Impact Analysis? So, Front Impact Analysis means the analysis at a condition when go kart hit a stationary ball from front side as a result loads are generated on a frontal areas due to which deformation of member occurs also stresses are induced in a member now let's see how to perform front impact analysis to get values of deformation and stresses the first step in front impact analysis is to provide engineering data to providing engineering data, right click over here, click on edit, the engineering data tab is open. Click here to add a new material as I am going to use AISI1018 material for the chassis. Now add AISI1018 to here. We need to add a properties for AISI1018 material. We are going to add a properties from here. To add density from physical property, click right on it and click include property. The density is added to the property of AISI1018. To add another properties, click on material field variable and to add Young's modulus or the poison's ratio, go to the isotropic elasticity from linear elasticity linear elastic right click on it and click include properties all the properties under isotropic elasticity are added to the properties of AISI 1018 now click on material field variables to add strength go down to the strength section and add by clicking right on the ill strength and include property add ill strength to the properties now right click on ultimate strength and click include property and the ultimate strength is added to the properties now gives values to the density as 7870 kg meter cube Young's modulus as 205 GPA to change the unit from Pascal to GPA, click over it and change the unit to GPA. Write down as 205 GPA. Now, the poison ratio as 0 0.29. Change the unit for ill strength as Pascal to megapascal and gives the value as 370 megapascal. For the ultimate strength, gives the value as 440 megapascal. Now, we are going to use only AISI1018 material for the chassis. So, Remove the structural steel material, right click on it, click on delete and now close the engineering data tab. Another step 
is to add a geometry so right click on geometry go to the new design modular geometry click on it now the design modular is open go to the file go to the import external file click going to add a igs extension file and click on open and click on generate the idea is generated now close or minimize this tab now right click on model and click on edit this will open here is a specification tree we need to change in a specification tree firstly we need to change in a geometry so click on right we need to add a material to every part of the geometry so click on solid press control and select all the solid bodies to add a material go to material tab click on assignment click on this icon and assign a material as AISI 1018 the material is assigned to all a part now minimize the geometry 